What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, Giving it today with an early review, I think it's probably the right way of saying it, what you're watching in the background is just a couple of select cutscenes from Horizon Zero Dawn, um, I've got literally a couple of hours just invested into the game, just playing it a little bit so far and what I wanted to do was just kind of give my impression of the game so far now when it comes to games like this this isn't a typical type of game that i would bring to you guys on my channel that i would normally sort of put up for people to watch because it's that type of game where you kind of play it by yourself and it's just a game to immerse yourself in have a bit of fun with and not stress about christ i need that seven minute clip that i can get to put up onto youtube and all that kind of good stuff so from what i can gather <laughs> from the start you're basically playing as a, as a little girl called aloy you are effectively an outcast in a tribe um or sort of an outcast on the outside of the tribe uh, and the whole premise of the game pretty much is that you need to do this challenge um, to get you to not be an outcast anymore and to be accepted as part of the tribe and it's effectively this, this girl's struggle to make it through. The land that they are living in is now ruled by machines, pretty straightforward, there's a really good kind of basic story there in terms of things like cutscenes and stuff like that to, to kind of keep you going and, and sort of keep you sort of moving. Generally when I play a game like this what I'm looking for is for it to grab me by the short and curlies and really 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 pull me in uh, and get me emotionally invested in the game pretty much and the best game that I can sort of talk about the the last one that really really did that to me that, that absolutely kicked me in the nuts by way of the feels and really kept me invested was The Last of Us. Um, I think everybody knows the scene that I'm talking about there, the scene where the uh, the child dies right at the very, very beginning when the outbreak all starts and everything and, and they're trying to escape and she gets just absolutely destroyed basically. So what I was looking for was something like this to start with me in the beginning and just to really kind of keep me invested. And I think within sort of the first maybe five five to ten minutes of of the actual game itself when you see him with the baby um the fact that the elders gave him the baby the baby doesn't have a mother and all of that kind of stuff so you're already rooting for this girl pretty much from the start and just little things that happen just as it starts to move on the little bits of discovery that go on where you get the little special gadget that you put on the side of your ear that allows you to scan stuff that can give you sort of a little bit of further information um, those little bits and pieces and just the actual storyline thus far on, on the character itself it, it hooked me straight away it got me invested I thought right I want to see where this character is going to go I want to see what the possibilities are with this character and also the relationship between her father's the wrong word because he's not her father it's her father figure her guardian um moving forwards and, and how that's going to affect the game and how that story is going to kind of roll out and there's little instances that you can see where um you'll see it in one of the cutscenes where there's a group of kids and one of them throws a rock at her and it's you, you just genuinely start to feel really bad for her from the start and you're already rooting for her in the hope that you just want to make it right for her and help her find her way through so there is that kind of emotional investment from the get-go and I think that's really important when it comes to these types of sort of RP uh, roleplay full-on story type games they need to be properly immersive there needs to be a really really good narrative there straight away just to keep you entertained because we've all seen the same sort of genre before where there's bits and pieces that you have to do you have to do certain tasks you have to do little bits and pieces you have to do this to upgrade that you have to collect this to upgrade that and this that and the other and your skill points and da, 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 which is all fine and dandy but now that i'm finding that i need things with a little bit more substance to them just like I said, something that's going to keep me invested, something that's going to make me sit and play it for two or three hours and then really look forward to and get excited about the prospect of coming back to and playing the game again. 
100%. That's what I need, and that's what I'm getting from this game straight from the start, which I'm really, really pleased about. I mean, it goes without saying that the game looks absolutely stunning. The, the music in it is brilliant, gives a really good atmosphere. The, the kind of the color balance within the game is phenomenally good. It just it feels very, very good from the start. So I'm very positive about how this game should go and how it should play out. And it's like I said, it's one of the funny things as YouTubers as we need to try and do is it's, it, it's hard sometimes because you get certain games because you know that you can play them to get gameplay, to then make videos and then put them up onto YouTube for people to see and people to critique. But sometimes it's often important for us as well to not lose sight of the fact of why we do YouTube in the first place, why it is that we create videos. It's because we have a love of gaming, pure and simple. And it's, it's really, really hard sometimes for good A-title games to be able to give you the feels, in inverted commas, and keep you invested at the same time as well. So you're still getting your sense of, of a fix from playing a game rather than just worrying about, crap, I need to play a game to get 10 minutes of content, or I need to play a game to do this, that, and the other, and all, all of that kind of stuff. So for me, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this is, this is going to go and how this is going to pan out. It's given me the same sort of feelings that Resident Evil 7 has done. I really like that game. That um, The Last of Us did. Um, just other games. Tomb Raider um, that, that we've all played. Uncharted, for example, as well. Just those different types of games. Just really giving you the feels and making everything feel fantastic and great and you just like I said you just want to jump back on and play it time and time again and just lose yourself in in gaming which is completely pure and simple the reason why we all love playing games in the first place why we all have this as a hobby why at the age of 36 I still get something out of playing games my tip if you want to try it out I'd highly recommend it it's got me and I think it's gonna have me probably for the next while because the game is huge that's going to do it for this one, guys. I'm going to leave you with the little kind of interlude bit where she goes from being a tiny little girl to being a young lady. I do hope you've enjoyed the game. With the game? <laughs> the gameplay. The little bit of a review. If you have, please don't forget to click the like button. If you're new to the channel, please also don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you on the next one. Thank you for stopping by. Peace.